That's it. No, do you have a question? How many people in Xi'an? About 9 million. 9 million. Uh, but uh, considering Chinese, uh, China's uh, total uh, population, that's only the 20th largest country, uh, <laughs> city in, in China. The 20th, the 20th largest, largest city. city. Yeah. Hey, Rich, would you use that light for me? Get the front light back on. Um, questions? How much is it to travel to China and do the program that you're talking about? Uh, the money involved? Uh, maybe you should talk to international education. Uh, Tom, Jeanette, Barbara, uh, they're, they're waiting for you. I'll get their, info, their, their name cards and I'll get their information for you. That's a good question. Mm, but uh, since I'm, now I'm here, I have been comparing the living expenses. Uh, it is here and it is there. Of course, it, it is much lower there in my city. So you will feel everything is just much cheaper. How much is a meal? A meal? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, mm, for, uh, for breakfast, one dollar is very enough. One U.S. dollar. One U.S. dollar is very enough. And uh, mm, two for lunch or dinner. That's, that's probably a pretty person. good sized meal. Yeah. Um, have you eaten at McDonald's in mm -hmm. Xi'an? A lot. So what's a value meal? Number one, Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. What does that cost in, uh, in Xi'an? Uh... And you can give me uh, Chinese money. I can we can convert it later if you. If. You know I don't see a big difference in. It's about the same price for McDonald's. Mm. You know I am not a fan. Of, I'm not. People, I, I, I'm, I'm sure not a fan of McDonald's either. But sometimes I think that the price of McDonald's charges sometimes it tells you something. That, I just wonder if it stays the same or if it's. You know what I have never I have never been to McDonald's or. or KFC after I got here. So I don't know the price here, but the price there in my city is like a, uh, a 2.5 US dollars for a hamburger and a french fries and a coke. Okay, it's cheaper than here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's the biggest. So, okay, so yeah. a McDonald's is. Okay, so it's at least half as much money to live yes. there as it is here. At least half. Mm -hmm. have cheaper. And McDonald's generally price is a little higher. So um, if you eat local food, you can eat much healthier and much cheaper than McDonald's. But okay, that that's cool. Um, so money would go farther if you were there. All right, good question. We probably got we got five minutes left. Uh, any other questions? What's the most common car in China? Oh, good question. Most common car, uh, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Hmm. Especially uh, Santana and the Jetta. They are top two. Okay. Because they are very reliable and uh, e enduring. But we also have a lot of Japanese cars. Do they make cars in Xi'an as well? Yes, yes. that's how you saw something in, in the video. Yes, we have an uh, automobile uh, Manufacturer there, but they uh, they mainly uh, produce taxis. I mean, taxi companies are their biggest clients. Any other questions? Yeah, what do you prefer about? China, and then what do you prefer about like U.S.? Like, what's the main thing that you like best about differences? Yeah, thank you for the question. That's, that's a good one and a little bit tricky. Yeah. Uh, what I, do I prefer uh, in my city or my country? Your city. My city. Uh, I really want to say everything, but uh, if I have to point out one thing that is. Uh, Local people's personality. Uh, my city is a typical North China city, where people are 
uh, I'll say uh, more uh, more open-minded and more uh, hospitable and more uh, amiable. Uh, but one thing special for my city is that people from a city like me, I'm one of them, uh, don't feel like uh, going to other places. Most of us are choose to stay in the hometown for their whole lives. So I, so this uh, this trip to the states to me is a surprise. It's kind of like here. I think a lot of people you know, stay in the Midwest. What I prefer right. in Kansas City is the also people's personality. I don't know whether this is a, a, a typical American personality, but uh, uh, since I got here, everyone around me just. Uh, is always willing to help. So I already feel at home. Uh, and your accent is very pleasing. Just like what just like what I heard in you know I, on CNN back in China. I know there are some uh, uh, special accents in from you know other parts of the, the states, but uh, I don't feel anything uh, different uh, here in the way you talk. So everything is perfect. All right. Any last questions? Is there a reason you ride your bike instead of drive? Because like, is it really different from China? Uh, yeah. Uh, biking is still one of the most popular means of transportation uh, in China. Uh, here, I chose to bike uh, for a couple of reasons. First, I uh, I'm currently living on a KU Edwards Campus uh, Region Center, which is also on Quivira. So it takes uh, only 15 minutes for me to bike here and you know, back and forth. So it's no big deal. And uh, also biking is, sorry, <laughs> biking is for now the only exercise I, I'm taking. So I won't miss that, that chance. So I will keep biking. But of course for uh, those uh, rainy, rainy days, last month I, I walked, uh, which took uh, half an hour. Nothing. Yeah. Um, what other countries have you been to? Sorry? What other countries have you been to? Uh, as I said just now, I went to Sweden and stayed there for one month. That's my first time uh, abroad. And this is my second time. So Sweden and the States. How's the uh, traffic in your city? Tra the traffic. congestion? Yeah. Is it bad or is it good? Very heavy. Just now you, you, you saw. Uh, they are not. You are not, uh, you know, bragging the number of vehicles we own. Okay, that's the reality. Uh, tell me, uh, let me tell you one example. Uh, in China, I'm living very close to my campus, so uh, it's very easy for me to uh, uh, send my daughter to kindergarten. If I do that on foot, it takes about uh, eight minutes. But if I drive her there, mm, when it goes extreme. It's like one hour. Yeah, <laughs> the car just uh, won't move, you know, because the the whole road is uh, in a heavy jam. Of course, that's extreme, but uh, normally it takes about uh, uh, fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Yes. The the car the number of cars are exploding, but our uh, road uh, construction cannot uh, follow up, cannot uh, you know catch up with that speed. So that's why. So we have some uh, policies to refrain the number of uh, cars we can have. Like uh, before I came here, I sold my car because my, my wife doesn't drive. She's now still in China. So if I park, if I, I I stop using the car for one year, I don't think it, it can still you know work. So I chose to sell it. But when I go back next year to buy a new one, maybe I will meet some re, uh, you know refrains. For example, we have to draw lots. Uh, to decide who can buy the car next month and who has to wait longer. Like a lottery? Yeah, lo like a lottery. Yeah. I think that's necessary. Otherwise, we, everybody cannot move on the road. So. Uh, are the students generally smarter at your university than here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least in math. Yeah. Of course not. Of course not. But they're, uh, it's a four-year university, right? It is, and it's uh, top 15 uh, 
so yes, the enrollment in uh, to my university has a higher requirement. They, the, the the high school graduates have to have a very excellent uh, uh, grades in their uh, college entrance examination. So in terms of the examination grades, yeah, they are very good. But uh, if we talk about something else like a applied uh, knowledge, uh, applied uh, skills, I won't say they are the best. But they are famous for being very obedient and uh, excellent in written tests. Okay, but if you let them, uh, for example, uh, uh, assemble a uh, toy car with some given parts, maybe they get stuck uh, because they are not taught how to do that uh, on the textbook. So I think you guys here have more uh, maybe internship uh, opportunities or more chance to do practical things. But we have too many people and uh, relatively limited uh, uh, facilities. So I don't think they have more access than you uh, to really do things with your hands. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Let's give them a hand. Thank you.